I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows Server 2025. So to start, you want to open up your web browser and search for Windows Server 2025 download. And on the search results page, there should be two options. The first one will take you to the evaluation center. And then on here, there'll be an option to download the ISO or the VHD. So if you download the ISO, on the right hand side, you can fill in a form and press download and it will take you to the download. Or if you come to the second link, it should take you straight to the Evaluation Center download page where you can select the version you want to download and then it will download the latest version of the Windows Server 2025 evaluation. Now, even though this is an evaluation, all you have to do is put a genuine license key in and it will upgrade you from the evaluation to the full version. Once the file's downloaded, you'll either want to burn it to a USB drive or mount it in whatever hypervisor you're using and then either boot the server or boot the virtual machine using the ISO file. Once you've booted into the ISO file, you've got a couple of options. You can select the language to install, and then you can select your time and currency format. Then you can press next. You can then select your keyboard or input language, and then press next. You've now got a couple of options. You've got install Windows Server or repair my PC. So if you've already got an existing Windows Server installation, you can use the repair option. However, in this case, it's a clean install. So we're gonna select install Windows Server. We're then gonna tick the box to agree that everything will be deleted, because it will format the drives and then we'll press next. We can then select the version of Windows Server we want to install. I'm going to install Data Center with the desktop experience and then press next. We can then agree to the license terms. We can then select what drive we want to install Windows on. I've only got one drive attached to this virtual machine. However, if you've got multiple drives, it will show them here. So I'm just going to select the drive I want to install Windows on and then press next. The final part, it will say ready to install. It will tell us what we're installing. And then we can just press install to install Windows Server 2025. If the installation process will start, the server will automatically reboot when it's finished and it will take you to the logon screen. After the install is finished, it's taken us to the customized settings where we can enter a password for our server. So I'm just going to enter a password and then re-enter the password to confirm and then press finish. Now it's taken us to the lock screen, so all we have to do is press Control alt delete to log in. We can then enter our administrator password that we've just set. Now we've logged in, it's taken us straight to Server Manager, where we can administer our server. So that's how to download and install Windows Server 2025.